Hi, Fred from the Laptop Barn here. Today we're going to show you how to change the battery on a Dell Latitude 5500 laptop. This is a relatively new laptop with an internal very flat battery. There are a couple of options. Um, the battery can be a 68 watt hour, as shown in the picture here. Um, which completely fills the battery cavity inside the laptop. You'll see when we take it apart. Uh, in addition, there is also a smaller, a little less expensive uh, battery that you can use. It's a 51 watt hour. The 68 watt hour is model 4GVMP, and this 51 watt hour as you can see, is model R8D7N. Again, those numbers are located below. Um, either one will work. Get them on eBay, $35 for one and about $25 for the other, so a little, little less expensive. Okay, to do the, the um, assembly, you need a couple of tools, a screwdriver and a flat a flat piece to pry with. You can use a screwdriver. We have a special little pry tool. It looks like a finger, fingernail file. I use a number one Phillips screw driver. Um, but that's all you're going to need. This battery is located on the bottom of the laptop. It's inside. So we're going to have to take off the bottom plate. There are eight screws eight Phillips screws using your number one screwdriver you simply go around the perimeter and uninstall those eight screws sometimes the battery will be so bad that it will push up it will actually bulge and push up on this bottom plate and you can see see the battery bulging Okay, once you've done that, I got a little dirt on my shirt there. I won't bother editing that out. This is purpose is to show you how to change the battery, not to see how dirty my shirt is. Okay, now once you've undone the screws, you gotta just un simply unpry the bottom. It's held in by a number of plastic clips. If you start up in the one corner and just give it a gentle nudge, it'll unsnap. And if you work it about halfway down the back, now you can get your finger in there and just gently pop and the whole back will come off. That simple. Just be careful you don't break the tabs, but uh, they're pretty tough. There's the battery. It has an electrical connector to the motherboard. You just pull that off. It's got a little loop on it that if you can get your finger in the loop, you just pull up on it. Um, so I'm going to get the loop exposed there. Again, it's just this connector is just pressed onto the motherboard. There we go. I got a hold of the loop, just a loop of material. Put your finger in it, and it's to assist you in pulling it up. See, I've got it off there now. You can see the little loop. Now there are two screws that hold the battery in. One on the right side, again using our number one Phillips screwdriver, and one on the left side. If you remove those two screws, then you can lift up on the battery and, and pull it right out. That's all there is. It's held in by the connector and two screws. Now you can see the cavity there where the battery was. We're going to replace it with the 68 watt hour, which, in, which will fill that whole cavity. The Smaller one doesn't, but they both work. Now you press, just press that connector onto the motherboard. It'll snap right on. Press it straight down. That's all there is to it. And then reassemble the two screws. At that point, you've got the battery mechanically connected, and it'll just be a question of putting the back cover back on. When you put the back cover back on, I usually start it on the bottom and kind of snap it. It'll snap into place and on those little plastic tabs that are holding it. I usually check all the way around before we screw the screws in to make sure it's completely snapped into place. 
once it's snapped into place, now you simply reinstall those eight screws. Now, you might want to power it up and make sure you got everything connected properly and that the battery works. Uh, for demonstration purposes here, I'm just going to put the back cover on. Usually we will power it up before we put the cover on just to verify that we've made a good electrical connection and that the battery is any good. Okay, so we reassemble and... Um, At that point, we're back together, and the system is a go. That's about all there is to it. Hope this uh, helps. If you have any uh, questions, leave them down below. Um, go ahead and uh, like our video and join our channel. We put out tips and tricks to help our users. Fred from the Laptop Barn, over and out.